Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today, President and CEO and Chairman of Phobie AI, uh, formerly known as Loop Insights. We are focused on the world of digital transformation for business and venue operators. Uh, a little about who we are. Uh, we're, we're focused in the world of IoT and AI data intelligence, and of course, activation through our digital wallet and mobile technologies. Uh, for we digitally transform businesses to help them make better, faster, data-driven decisions. We focus on reduction of carbon footprint and digital transformation, and heavily focused on building better customer experiences based on activation of personalized engagement at scale. We focus the technology on the challenges of bricks and mortar, physical retail, and, and venue. Phobie's leveling the playing field between brick and mortar venue operators and online retail giants. Our cutting edge technology drives innovation, which digitally transforms like only Phobie can deliver. When we start to look at the worlds of e-commerce, mobile commerce, and offline, the convergence of data is one of the greatest challenges, of course. And that's where we focus bringing data to life, creating full interoperability amongst ecosystems. Now we position ourselves as a leader in the, the quest of digital transformation. Uh, our product stack is made up of many proprietary technologies that take business operators from edge to cloud computing. As you see here, uh, we focus heavily on the world of data and connectivity, normalizing, parsing, structuring, and of course, providing real-time analytics and insights to operators. Um, we provide data connectivity as we look towards the world of activation and consolidating all of their data warehouse. Our solutions we break down into categories are connect and analyze, uh, it's com composed of our API connectivity of our software solutions, and of course our proprietary IoT device Phobie. Makes it very easy for operators to connect their systems and infrastructures, reducing programming expensive, and of course, bridging the gap between the online and offline worlds. Our aggregated insights portal helps our clients better understand behaviors, micro trends, supply chain, inventory, pricing analysis, and measurement. Activate Engage, fully scalable engagement services help turn every customer into a loyal customer. We digitally transform companies' engagements, strategies, revenues, and of course, we heavily reduce the cost of customer acquisition, converting unknown to total known users. Access and health is a big portion of our, our business now as the world is reopening. Uh, Phobi solutions create better custom experiences that make accessing and interacting with venues seamlessly. We always focus on the user experience, of course, and evolving the seamless automated interaction element. Phobi digitally transforms events to provide more value to attendees while reducing the overall cost and bottlenecks associated to entry. Connect and analyze. Uh, we are a data first company, uh, heavily focused on first party data, which is of tremendous value to all stakeholders in, in the CPG retail industries today. Our proprietary hardware device, Phobi, connects data from disparate point of sale systems accessing insights with real-time output and analysis. Our insights for our cloud-based systems, heavily built on software and API focus now. Uh, we work with partners such as Vend and Lightspeed and Shopify and Oracle and, and of course Square most recently, uh, gives us very, very powerful insights and interoperability across various systems and platforms of both online and offline. Insights for custom data integrations is becoming a bigger part of our business for service building as well. Um, building very detailed visualization and insights for historical point of sale data sets, of course, and monetizing data, and most recently um, with environmental data is becoming a very interesting play for us with government initiatives. The activate engage piece. We have all the data, we provide all the insights and analytics. Now, how do we unlock and leverage to monetize the data? We've created various ecosystems within our mobile and digital footprint. PassPro is an advanced wallet pass product 
that expands the capabilities of the mobile digital wallet that leverages the native iOS and Android wallet. PassPro is fully customized in a managed service on an enterprise level at scale. Most recently, we've launched the Pass Creator on one of our acquisitions. It is a, one of the leading global DIY platforms to distribute, validate, and manage operators' own wallet passes that are issued internally and to their customers, of course. Um, Cupels, uh, another acquisition of last year, is now one of the leading suppliers for 8112 universal digital coupons. And of course, the traditional clip at home coupon industry is seeing a large shift now with the progress and momentum, of the rollout of the universal 8112 digital standard that the coupon bureau has created. And we provide that gateway. Access and health, big part of our, our business this year uh, and moving forward for the remainder of 2022 and into 2023. Uh, Checkpoint. Uh, our latest product innovation that released to market last month. Uh, we had a successful implementation of our first client with the Academy Awards for the Oscars uh, and the NASDAQ for their venue and floors and business management. Uh, we automate and digitize the entire registration, ticketing, integration, and check-in process for venues, conferences, and of course, most importantly, their attendees. Alt ID is a very interesting opportunity for us, and we've seen tremendous growth of late in the regulated industries, such as cannabis, liquor, tobacco, and others. Um, it's a verification solution to make credentials verifiable on Hedera Hashgraph. Known users are who they say they are, of course, without compromising the sensitive data. We've seen great opportunities in uh, liquor beverage on this with our Barnet Technologies uh, most recent partnership. Screening and testing integrations for further access and entry for venue management, uh, partners and integrations we have with Dragonfly and Empower Clinics. Clinics enables you to integrate rapid vital signs screening, medical testing, direct limbs integration, and of course, healthcare data management platforms. Our proprietary IoT technology, uh, Fulby 3.0, which compromise the, or composed of the cloud and hardware device, our AI Insights Analytics portal, our Smart Tap, which is a combination of IoT and NFC technology for access and validation, our Smart Scan, of course, access and menu management, our Pass Wallet, which was a further acquisition last year focused on the mobile payment and servicing the countries where Google Pay uh, is currently not available. GCN app comes with a Cupels acquisition, and this is a new, newer development for us that uh, launches the world of physical and digital coupons, uh, accessing direct manufacturers rebates. Various segments for us to focus, uh, heavily focused on the retail and CPGs, those that follow our story, uh, we provide brands and retailers with real-time insights, personalized marketing tools, of course, and direct consumer access. Sports and entertainment, we have a long, long history now of uh, the last, feels like many, many years, but last two years, a uh, result of COVID, you know, opening venues and operations for various sporting league operators and industry leaders. We enhance the stadium experience, of course, by not just access and entry, but fan engagement, establishing customer lifetime value, and providing interoperability of data across all of their various platforms. Insurance and health, uh, transforming the industry with digital tools to provide better experiences, efficiencies, interoperable data sets once again, and increasing the, the cost and value of each client. Hospitality and tourism, connecting company-wide assets to build loyalty profiles, of course, drive relevant engagement to increase spend and wallet share. Our revenue streams comp compose of B2B, uh, business to business, of course, where we sell largely direct to retailers and CPG companies. They pay an upfront boarding fee, a monthly device fee, as well as a SaaS fee. The reseller channels, of course, uh, we have procurement deal with Telus, um, supporting many of our various products, selling them under the TELUS name, powered by Phobi AI. 
Uh, these solutions, of course, are sold through various partners and clients of theirs who, once again, pay an onboarding fee, monthly device fee, or SaaS fee based on product. Licensing is becoming a, a larger component of our business, especially on the pupil side, with two large license deals now with Veracast and Catalina, the two largest distribution of media um, for the CPG retail and prominent grocery space. We're quite active with uh, our, our developments as we have a multitude of uh, very, very credible products, of course, third-party validation, and now we're starting to see our global scale uh, develop and grow um, over the last year. Of course, we've experienced uh, quarter after quarter growth in revenue over the last year as well, uh, and I expect the same throughout uh, the remainder of 2022. I think this is the kind of key for us. Um, we are a SaaS business, but where it gets very interesting for us is the service side of the, the business as well, the enterprise managed services that we're able to provide, eliminate the heavy lifting for our, our partners. We're driving new technology and new innovation. Uh, we're providing middleware solutions and, and gateways for instances from today's uh, business and providing tomorrow's solution. Uh, M&A is a big part of our business and will continue to be. We've had five, uh, five acquisitions in the last calendar year and uh, fully integrated all of our systems now to provide seamless interoperability amongst all of our platforms and product offerings. Competitors for us, um, data aggregation companies such as IRI, most definitely. Um, the world of data is extremely valuable. And we find ourselves in a very big position with not just the aggregation of the independent fragmented retail spaces, um, the challenges of having store level access, but more importantly, real time intelligence is, is the way of the future. Loyalty, of course, um, once again, uh, automated personalized marketing that we provide, we have the data. The key thing now is how do we unlock leverage and monetize that data? to create relevant and personalized engagement and interactions based on spend and of course, user data. Airship, um, a wallet pass company, one of the key differentiators from us is we are data driven. Our passes and credentials are fueled by data intelligence. And Pointy is a hardware company that Google bought a few years back. Uh, hardware is still relevant today when it solves a fundamental problem, of course. And we, we're leading um, our distribution now through Amazon Fulfillment, which helps us tremendously with distribution at scale. Some of our partners work with some of the largest, of course, tech partners and Fortune 500 companies today. Uh, Third-party validation and credibility is for a young company, uh, and it's coming now second year, is a big part of our growth and support of our, our partners. And, Really, it speaks to the problems of which we are solving for the various industries today. Senior management team, our latest edition of Annie Chan, our new internal CFO, uh, has obviously great experience with SaaS and, and telecom and big part of our, our business and synergies there. Uh, Ian Cameron leading our marketing team. Ian comes from Epson, Japan, um, 20 years of marketing and, and e-com experience. Uh, critical in our, our rebranding of Phobia AI, which was a consolidation of the growth of the company with all of our new acquisitions and the products and features and business development led by Mike Cannabaro, um, key roles at Qualcomm and SRS Labs and, and CSR, and very current uh, with location services is this big part of Mike's background and insight. Obviously our, our technical team is led by Tamer Shafiq our CTO uh, came by way of NTT Data and CGI. Um, Tamer has played a big role in building a team during the, the key challenging times right now of uh, human capital and resources for sure, talent pools. And Gavin Lee, our COO, um, tremendous background in building operation management and infrastructure. And of course, myself, uh, CEO, chairman, and president of the company. Uh, board, we have tremendous output from our board, uh, tremendous uh, focus on 
new innovation and, and introductions to the right people, which has helped us uh, tremendously scale over the last two years now. Um, Jeff Hyman, of course, speaks to himself with the amount of money he's raised and especially the areas of casino gaming um, and Wall Street, of course, investment banking. Mike Devine, latest board member, um, very well experienced in the world of FinTech, industrial IoT. And Peter Green uh, has been with us from day one, uh, was critical in developing our telecom footprint. Um, TELUS was obviously a big part of Peter's career as the former uh, SVP and president of Tales, TELUS Business Solutions. So we're very well versed right across the board uh, with product relevancy. And of course, with uh, internal team and infrastructure, we are built to be extremely agile and very scalable now. So that concludes the end of the presentations. Gilbert, thank you for your assistance and um, happy to take any questions. Thank you, Rob. Uh, a few questions here. The first one being, uh, is, your re from Reef, is your recent quarter result in line with your expectation? Yeah, it, it, it is. Uh, we've gone through several acquisitions and integrations. Um, everything we've done, Gilbert, is built for scale and growth. Um, we've done everything the right way, and we expect to see the continued growth and momentum as our pro products start to find their way further globally. And uh, it's something that uh, we've become very strong and very agile across all of our various products in a very short time. And uh, we expect continued growth uh, at this clip for many, many years to come. Sure. Uh, this one from Dury. How far is your product gaining traction in the sports and entertainment uh, space? Yeah, we have um, several um, projects ongoing right now. Uh, one of the, the largest ones, of course, is the Allnet Arena developments in Las Vegas, which is a $2.7 billion new build of conference NBA compliance stadium with conference centers, retail, uh, 40 restaurants, very, very large outdoor. Uh, we have other projects, of course, with some of the leagues that um, I can't mention yet, but um, continue growth in that sector is data interoperability and activation is a very very big problem uh, and hence why we're so relevant in those industries one last question here from uh d pang he said he's a shareholder of phobi any reason for the fall uh, in the share prices late last year well i think we've seen um you know not not just phobi um we've obviously seen uh, small cap micro cap tech companies um you know, take a big haircut, let's call it. And uh, like I said, for us, we don't we don't control the share price, of course. We just focus on building the business and the numbers will take care of themselves and, you know, the inflation and all of the world um, unrest, I guess you could call it right now, is a point in time. And in no point in time does the business reflect the value and vice versa, so. Thank you, Rob. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you back here. Thanks, Gilbert.